Well, so much for uh, getting some mowing done today. I woke up about 7.30 or 8 o'clock to really loud thunder and pouring down rain. And it uh, looks like it stopped right now, but it was pretty bad there for a while. All those petals are out and there's water everywhere. It's it puddles. It's yeah, not a mowing day. Oh, well. Got plenty of other random stuff to do today. Catch up and kind of just more of yesterday. Um, a lot of it is, is getting back into this whole spring thing here. We pretty much have to rebuild everything in the month of May. You know, everything's got to be moved back outside and cleaned up. The house needs to be power washed. There's still weeding and mulching and we got to get some new bushes for the ones I took out. Uh, I'm still trying to get rid of this alternator. I got it on Craigslist. Some other stuff that's floating around I'm trying to unload. Uh, I've got to do two oil changes, one in each car. I don't know that I'm going to do either one of those today just on account of the weather, uh, but we'll see. Taco, you can't get him. Taco, why don't you just want to be friends? Because you can play together. If I open that door, would you think he'd take oh, off? Oh, yeah, he'd take off. Well, both would. The thing would take off and so would the cat. Oh, that isn't just total, like, let me tease you a little bit. That is hysterical. Most excited he's been all day. Here's the old radiator from the Jetta. <laughs> We're just <laughs> plugging those holes over there, shoved a hose in this one, release it a little bit. Look at that. We got a geyser in the aluminium. Damn. Well, I guess that's. That's where your leak is. Yep. What else do you do with an old radiator but hit it with a hammer and then shoot copper BBs into it with CO2? How do you, is it on safety? Not yet, hold on, mm. pull this down. There we go. There's safety, pop the clip out. Okay, is the clip empty? It is. And we refill it with these. Okay, clip in, safety off, and Fur. All right, ceasefire, safety on, and let's see what happened. There's some nice hits here. And it obviously goes right through those cooling fins. Those cooling fins are about as thin as paper. None got stuck in there though. I was surprised. I thought some, oh no, that's one stuck. We fired about 12 rounds into it. That's one. That went clean through though. That one maybe? I don't know. It's cooked though. Take it back Here's to the one. dealer, say you want a refund. Yep, right. Well, we killed that. Uh, say it's pretty safe to say that thing is donezo. Um, mm, I probably could recycle it, but uh, they've been bitching about stuff has to be clean and like they don't want things that have to come apart. So this has metal and plastic on it. They want things that are only one of them. So whatever, gets thrown out. Anyways, did a little bit better than a one take today. I think we got a couple in. Um, supposed to be clear today, wasn't rained. Cats and dogs this morning, we already talked about that. So I didn't get any mowing done. Everything was way too wet. Um, but I got a ton of stuff inside done. Just little odd jobs, more of the same BS stuff I've been putting off. Uh, still a couple things pending. This damn alternator's still here. I've got it on Craigslist. I'm just gonna put it up there for free tomorrow and somebody will come pick it up. And it just kills me to throw it away. I don't know why it's stupid. Uh, that, a couple other things downstairs. Um, I was talking to my dad today on the phone and it's this whole thing every spring. It's a little stressful, the order of operations. Uh, I've got to plant some bushes, but I'd like to have the house power washed before that. And before that, I'd like to have the trees trimmed, but the trees can't be trimmed until we have several, several dry days in a row because they have to bring um, like a, they have to drive a truck up in the lawn. And it's, I mean, if we did it now, it would sink a foot deep. So we're kind of, everything again hinges on the weather. So I think we're just gonna have to proceed with the power washing 
before because I need this stuff done by Timmy Fest. Timmy Fest is no more. So we're having an event in Pittsburgh. It'll be at a Pittsburgh Cars and Coffee uh, on Saturday, June 9th at, it's like eight or nine in the morning. It's pretty early. It'll go a couple hours. It's not going to be huge. It's not going to be all about the E39 M5 um, weather providing. I will have mine. Kenan will drive his no matter what. Luke, I don't know. Um, I don't know that, I don't think Jeff's going to have his back from engine work. Um, Nick, Roz and Sabrina are in the Jetta. Megan will come with me. It'll be a group. We'll have a bunch of people. I don't think it's going to be as big as years prior. Um, as far as, as my friend group goes, it seems like everybody's just kind of busy and, and preoccupied and I haven't even gotten text messages from several people. You know who you are. Um, but that's what it's going to be. So we're going to convoy, like we'll still have the majority of it in Hudson and we'll hang out here for Friday. And then Saturday, we'll jump in the car in the morning and instead of driving to Columbus, which is about 110 miles, we'll drive to Pittsburgh, which is like 85, 90, 95 miles. At least to where Luke lived. I don't know how much further away this Cars and Coffee place is. But uh, if you're interested, send me an email or leave me a comment here. Email's ryan at e39sorts.com. Get the details, location, specifics, whatever. Um, I guess anybody can come and hang out. It's just a car show. If you want to bring any 39M5, let me know so we can tell them and then maybe we can get some more spots reserved for us so we can park them all together. It's not an E39M5 group as a, as a meetup, as I said. It's just going to be a Cars and Coffee that kind of has a little E39M5 show going in the corner. Uh, but it'll be fun to get everybody together. Maybe if we can get Steven to come from Florida and Bobby and all of that, it's great to get everybody together at one time. and. I know I said it last year, but this this is pretty much the last year for it, unless I'm going to be flying back from Southern California for a, a random weekend in Ohio. I don't know. But that's the update there, and all of this stuff has to get done before that. Last year was very unique. The first several years we went to Timmy Fest, it was always uh, June 7th, 8th, 9th, something like that. And then last year was late June. I think it was the 20-something. And it worked out great because the M5 was in, mine was in for what, steering box and steering links and all this crap. I didn't get it back till late. My road was under construction. Uh, I was way late on everything last year. So I needed those extra couple of weeks to be ready. Uh, this year is early, so I gotta make May and the remainder of May count. And I may or may not be able to do it. We'll be able to do it. All right, I'm going to bed. This is done. Talk tomorrow.